Hey guys and welcome. For those of you that don't know, I'm Rain with Rain's Realm and I help people manifest success through spiritual supplies and education. And today we are going to be talking about these candles. So I know a lot of my existing clients uh, already know how the candles work. You guys have seen them in person. You've used them. Uh, thank you again so much for all the different reviews on how these candles have been working for you. I'll be sharing more of those really soon as well. But for those of you that have not ordered yet and uh, have had some additional questions, I want to show you guys the candles up close today so you can see exactly what all the fuss is about. So the candles come in this gorgeous tin that is very sturdy. And the tin itself we decided to keep it with no label or markings on it for the simple fact that a lot of you guys, when you're using these candles, you don't really want everybody all up in your business. So it's between you and the universe, what you are doing um, with your candle and why you're doing it. And so for those of you that live with others or have roommates or whatever reason somebody may see it, um, we wanted to make sure that we protected um, your privacy. So no labels on it for that. Now a great thing about these uh, tins also is that after you're done with the candle, you can clean the tin out of any remaining wax if there's any. And then you can reuse the tin. You can use it as like a little traveling altar. You can use it to keep crystals in. You can use it to keep herbs in. You can use it to write intentions and do like a manifesting tin. There's so many different things that you can use this for after you're done with the candle. So that is just the tin itself. Now when we open the candle, and this one is our um, love and self-love candle, but... Let's see if you guys can see it. So, this is, and you know, honestly, even with this, it's really not doing it justice for in person. But you can see some of the hibiscus in there, some of the rose in there, um, the gorgeous color. Yeah, these candles are beautiful. Um, this is how they come. So, just like this. And you get a really awesome burn with these candles. So, and they last deceptively long. I've had people that after ordering the candle and they expected the candle to go for like, um, you know, six hours and that's it or something like that. No, you get a really nice burn with these candles. So, nice slow burning wick and wax really gives your um, intentions a chance to set in. So this is the candle. And you know uh, we start with the pure wax. Uh, I cleanse everything. Generally I use frankincense and myrrh. Um, I say specific prayers over all of the individual ingredients. Then uh, as the wax is melted, there are specific herbs. Um, specific anointing oils and specific essential oils that are added to it. And then also the all natural coloring itself. So it's a process. All of those things are blended together. Uh, the combination itself is prayed over again. And there's um, certain um, Parts of that process as well, really, you know, uh, helping everything to align with that energetic frequency that you want for you to truly be able to manifest the things that you want to manifest. And then after it is poured, it is prayed over again. Other things are, um, you know, set over as well, different intentions, different things like that. Uh, and then it is uh, on an altar being prayed over for a specific amount of days before it's even ready to, to be shipped out. So it is, it is quite a process <laughs> to make these candles. 
is definitely a labor of love for these. So, and just for an example with the intentions and things like that with the with this particular candle, since this is the love and self-love candle, um, there are specific intentions and ingredients in here that facilitate a true and unconditional feeling of self-love. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you really can't manifest anything else if you don't love yourself enough to know that you deserve it. So you got to start with that first and foremost. So these um, ingredients and the intentions and the prayers that are used in making these candles facilitate that feeling of self-love, that feeling of acceptance, that feeling of healing, that feeling of deserving good things in life, the feeling of truly just loving yourself exactly the way that you are doesn't mean we can't improve on things but it means truly loving yourself exactly where you are right now and a lot of my clients buy this candle specifically for that reason but if you are trying to spice up an existing relationship or you're single and you're trying to draw in a you know um a worthy love interest then it's all about the intentions that you set after you get the candle. So um, this goes into, and the instructions are included in the candle, but this all goes into what the specific intentions are that you write after you um, receive your candle before you start uh, lighting it. So you want to write those intentions down. And remember, you always say things like, I'm so happy and grateful that, and then you say it in the present tense, and then you fold that paper up towards you, and you put it underneath your candle. I do have another video on um, setting up your candle specifically, and I will link that below for the video that's on YouTube. Um, but that is how the intentions work and how all the ingredients work and the things like that. So that's the candle itself. Now, um, depending on the candle that you get, you also get um, either dried rose, dried hibiscus, or something else with it that goes around the candle. Uh, you can use these herbs after you burn your candle all the way down. You can use these herbs by adding them to a spiritual bath. You can do things like that with them to further push your intention through. So you get those as well as the instructions, the candle, and it all comes in these gorgeous bags. Purple color of inner, you know, personal power, inner power. Um, we're making power moves. We go with the color purple. So that's how that works with that. And um, I do get candles sometimes. I mean, questions sometimes on how the candles themselves work. So, to oversimplify it, um, for those of you, depending on where you are in your spiritual journey, and maybe you're just kind of not ready for um, a huge explanation, to oversimplify it, when you set the intention for your candle, you know, by writing it and speaking it out, you are already... Um, starting to vibrate at that frequency and you know that we are all made of you know energy and vibrations and we want to vibrate at the frequency of the things that we are attracting so by setting your intention in the way that i said earlier with the i'm so happy and grateful that and in the present tense you're already starting to vibrate at the frequency of the thing that you want your candle is set by me to already vibrate at the frequency of the thing that you want. So you're meshing those two together. Then when you put the intention under your candle and you light your candle, you are basically sending a beacon out into the universe that you are attracting this thing to you and you are fully aligned with it. Not to mention the fact that candles themselves represent all four of the elements so you are in perfect harmony with the universe when you are using this. As your candle is burning, your energy for your manifestation is growing. 
And as the candle burns completely out, that is signifying to you and your subconscious and the universe that you are releasing your intention into the universe. Because remember that if we hold on to it and we dwell on it and we're scared to release it, we're not going to manifest it either. So burning the candle all the way out signifies that to us and our subconscious and the universe itself as well. So that's a very over oversimplified um, explanation for you guys for that. And we can go into more detail and stuff like that with candles and exactly how they work and stuff like that later on. So I hope that this answered some of your questions on the candles themselves and things like that. Again, this is the candle. And the lid will fit on the bottom, um, which is handy for after you're done burning your candle depending on what you use your tin for, but uh, you guys do not do this and then light your candle. It, it will get stuck. So, um, but just remember that for after you're done and you want to reuse your, um, your tin. And I do have instructions in the paper that comes with it on exactly how you can cleanse your um, tin after you're done with your candle. So, thanks so much for watching. Hope this clears it up. Remember, this week only, we still have the free shipping on any order over 25 So, basically, you buy a candle, you get free shipping. Anything over that is still free shipping. But uh, that's code BIRTHDAY, all caps. Celebrating my birthday week for that. And uh, so, you guys take advantage, stock up, do what you got to do. Have an incredible day, manifest success, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.